Hello, I'm Eric Reno, and this is a video for tipsquirrel.com, the free website for everything Photoshop. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the auto button in levels and curves in Photoshop and in levels in Photoshop Elements. Let's jump in and see what's what. So here I am in Photoshop and I've got my image all ready to go. You can see that it comes from Photolia. Should be details up on the screen. What I want to do here is run a curves adjustment. So I'm going to come down and I'm going to choose Curves Adjustment from my Adjustments panel. And sure enough, there it is. Now in the Curves Adjustment, I can see that I've got this Auto button. If I click on that, it makes a slight curve and it's going to be different for every image, of course. But it's not made a huge impact. That's the before and after. Now if I come up to the Flyout menu here, you can see that I've got Auto Options. I can choose that or I can press Alt or the Option key and click on the Auto button and it brings up the same dialog box. Now right now this is set to Enhance Brightness and Contrast and this was introduced in Photoshop CS6. If I scooch over to Photoshop Elements and I run a Levels in here, here we go, Levels, and I press the Alt or Option key and choose Auto, you can see that that option isn't available. I only have those three. But it works exactly the same as it does in Photoshop. I'm going to scooch back over to Photoshop. Now what I can do here is I can click my way through these algorithms. Find dark and light colors. That works nicely. Enhance per channel. And again, a little subtle difference. And enhance monochromatic contrast. When I've been clicking on these, you may have noticed that in the histogram there, you can see it's altering each channel, the blue, the red, and the green. I also have the option to target colors and clipping. I can click on one of these little swatches and then come and alter them should I wish. I can even come into the colors as well if I wanted to give it a little bit of toning. I'm going to leave it at black though. I can do that for the midtones and the highlights, and I can change the percentage of the clip as well. I'm going to click OK. Now, if I was to run another curves and come into my auto options, you'll see that I'm back to enhance brightness and contrast. That is the default. I can change the default should I wish and then save them, but I like to stick to enhance brightness and contrast. So there we go. That's that. I'm Eric Reno. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Maybe give me a thumbs up if you found this helpful. And I'll see you back at Tip Squirrel very, very soon.